Hello, this is Matt Loss 4848 here, um, and um, today in this video I'm going to be reviewing um, quite an amazing program called Shush. Uh, so um, I've uh, spent quite a lot of time doing research to find a program like this, and um, I think currently it is a quite unique program. I've not found any other program that um, does the same thing for Mac. Um, of course, there are um, a few similar programs, but this um, is probably the best um, uh, program for push to talks. Anyway, um, this is a push to talk program. Now, if you have not heard of push to talk, um, then the simple definition of it is um, uh, basically a method of recording um, or speaking to um, people over VoIP, for example, Skype, um, uh, when while holding a key on your keyboard. Uh, there may be also other things, maybe hardware things. Uh, so, for example, um, you activate it by clapping, I'm not sure about that, um, but there may exist. Uh, so, um, basically, um, uh, push to talk is useful for many different things. Um, the list is just endless. Um, so, for example, if um, you live in an area where there are many background noises, for example, if you live um, in um, uh, your house is next to a noisy road, um, then push to talk will be very useful because once you let go of the key that you're holding, um, then nothing will be recorded, no background sounds, nothing will be recorded. Uh, so this is um, fairly useful. Now, of course, um, when you let go, suddenly all the background noise will disappear. So um, if you're recording something like a YouTube video, for example, which is um, quite useful for, then um, you may need to tr um, try using um, software which removes background noise. Now, surprisingly, these background noise removers actually work very well. I may make um, future videos about them. I think I've um, explained it a bit in my screen flow um, for beginners video. Uh, so anyway, I'll just um, show this program. So this is a fairly simple program, however, um, the um, uses for this are endless. So um, if I click here uh, with a menu bar, um, you can go to About. Now in About, um, you don't really see much information except um, how Shush, um, Shush um, works. So um, you use a shortcut recorder and CM Crash Reporter. Uh, these may be useful if you're an application developer and you would like to create a program which is activated um, by um, holding a key. Um, of course, there may be other things that may help you with that, um, but this may be useful. This is just giving credit. Um, and also, you get a link to the website of the developers of this application. Now, um, this um, the developers or company that creates this application is called Mizage. Um, correct me in the comments um, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Um, now, I think they're quite a new company. They um, are currently um, selling uh, three programs, and as I just said, um, this is um, a paid application. However, it is worth $4 or $1 that it is currently. Um, uh, last time I checked, it was $1, which is fairly cheap for the use of this program, because this may help you for um, um, many professional uses, um, YouTube, etc. Um, list endless again, as I said earlier. Uh, so um, we'll just um, quit this now. And the only other thing here is preferences. Uh, so in preferences, um, uh, you can um, customize a few things. Um, so the preferences are fairly simple, but um, um, you don't really need to expect some more preferences. So anyway, you can start Shush at log login, which is quite useful um, because you don't really want to start recording something and forget that you have a token. Uh, you can show that in the menu bar. Which is very useful to know um, if, um, for some weird reason, um, you're um, you're not holding the key, or if you're not holding the key, the key's broken, etc. Uh, you can use a colored um, menu bar icon, um, so that is quite useful. Um, and also, the um, last thing that you can customize in the general tab is push this hot key to talk. Now, one of the negative um, problems of um, one of the problems of this application is you are limited to hotkeys. Um, you're limited to, I think, four modifiers, key modifiers, limited to FN, Control, Alt, and Command. Now, I use Alt because I do not use Alt quite often. Um, I may use it for um, deleting whole words with backspace, but um, in a um, YouTube tutorial, um, I may not always use this. Um, however, um, they may um, fix this in a future version. As this is the first um, um, version, 1.0, not including the previous betas. Okay, so um, you cannot use anything else. Um, I've um, tried experimenting. Um, it will be quite nice, nice um, if you used um, the key um, to the left of um, 1 on the keyboard. 
um, please type in the comments and um, remind me um, what it is called. Um, however, um, it has a circle and two kind of semicircles going off it. Uh, so the next tab is called Cues. Now, if you go to Cues, um, you can play, um, click Play Audio Cues. Um, this may be annoying if you're recording um, and you record computer audio, um, or if you're using loudspeakers, um, because and basically what this does is when you hold the key modifier to start speaking, it plays um, a sound for about a second, um, just to remind you that um, you're recording now. Uh, this may be useful um, sometimes, but I have disabled this feature and it may be annoying. Um, and you can also animate the minibar icon. Now, um, I would not, I cannot see why someone would want to disable that, um, but um, basically this thing will stop, stay still and it will just show one green light or something like that. Uh, so there isn't really much more to show here. So I've already shown everything. There's about, or you can quit um, the program. Now if I switch to the Mac App Store, where you um, can buy this program, um, I'll just search for this and um, I'll show you how you can find this. Okay, so as you can see, um, I've searched this program. Now it just costs two pounds in the UK. Um, so in the US, that'll be about three dollars fifty or four dollars. Um, however, um, I do remember. I think it was cheaper earlier, but I'm not sure about that. So if you click this program, um, it's in the category utilities, just in case you can't find it. Um, here is a screenshot of it. Again, showing the simplicity of this program. Just one preferences thing, but still, like I said earlier, the uses are endless. Um, so this program is only 0.5 megabytes, it's a tiny amount of program. Uh, there are programs which can be many gigabytes. Uh, so again, this shows that there's um, only one version, and it was actually released in, uh, on the 19th of June, which is f um, fairly recently at the time of publishing this video, um, early July 2012. You can see some other programs that the company has made, such as Divi, which is window management, um, padlock, and short stop. They may be, um, be making um, um, other programs in the near future. Now, um, I have posted a review about this, um, and a few other people have posted reviews. Um, you may find it helpful to read the reviews. Um, and I've also noticed that um, if you um, use the um, web app store thing, uh, you may see about five reviews. But if you look at um, the Mac app store, you'll only see one review. So I recommend um, that for reviews, you look on the web web version of the App Store um, in your web browser. Okay, so there's um, a um, uh, description of this over here. Uh, so it basically shows the features, like this voice, unwanted echo, etc. So for example, the um, speaker's echo when you're speaking in Skype or um, Mumble or some other VOIPs um, software, then um, uh, this um, program will stop um, your speaker's echoing as um, your microphone will only be activated while you speak. Now um, another um, interesting thing about this software is that it works in any program. This um, globally affects the um, uh, uh, software. Um, it's a, so for example, um, I'm not sure exactly how this program works, but there are some push-to-talk programs for Mac which only affect Skype. Um, of course, um, this is annoying if you want to use iChat, um, Mumble, um, etc. And this also works in programs such as ScreenFlow, for which I'm using it right now. So um, if you record some computer tutorials, for example, like me, then this um, is very useful. Um, however, um, uh, as I've said, um, uh, probably the um, only problem that I can think of about this is that, uh, if I find it here, uh, there are, um, the modify keys are limited. Now there is... Um, Another um, thing which I think could be added to this application, um, which is reverse push to talk, where you hold a modify to mute yourself instead of unmute. Um, this will be quite a nice feature. Okay, so for the last part of the review, I'm going to be showing you a demonstration of how this um, application works. Uh, so um, as you might be able to see over here, and if I zoom in, uh, then you can see that when I do not hold the modify key, that um, there is no sound at all. Now, if I was not using a push to talk application, then there'll be um, just random background um, noise over here, um, which um, can be quite annoying um, to listen to. So if I just zoom out again, I'll just play this um, and um, show you um, how all this works. Four.
five, eight, nine. Okay, so um, you've probably heard those um, numbers there. So um, I was counting from 1 to 9, and um, I was only holding um, the modifier key for um, I think the numbers um, 4, 5, and 8, and 9. Uh, so um, you can basically see um, how well this works. So um, I'll just um, uh, do another thing here. So if you're using ScreenFlow, then um, it is worth um, removing the background noise because um, if you hear no noise at all and suddenly um, you hear a bit of background noise, then it may sound a bit strange. So I'll just show you how you um, remove background noise. So you just click here and on the audio um, and click um, filter, remove background noise. And this will um, improve um, the way it sounds a bit and you may need to turn the volume up um, by a tiny bit because um, removing ba background noise may turn down the volume by a tiny bit. Anyway, this is the end of the review. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please um, check the description um, for um, more information about this application, a link to the website and a link to the um, web um, Mac App Store um, link uh, to this um, application. Thank you for watching.